What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hypnotic Lady and today I will be working with the company Wig Encounters. Jumping right into the video, I just want to show you guys this little card that they gave me with all the information about my wig. And then this is the wig right here. This is their 5x5 HD lace wig and it is in the texture Yaki Straight. It did come with combs and adjustable straps and I did want to show you guys that this is HD lace. Um, I did go ahead and pluck and bleach the knots off camera. You want to go ahead and clean the perimeter of your hairline or wherever you're putting your lace at. And I'm going to go in with my even lace glue. I'm going to do three thin layers using the blow dryer in between. And then once I feel that the uh, lace spray is tacky enough, we're going to go ahead and glue this bad boy down. Okay, now that our lace is um, ready to be held down, you want to just gently place that down and then I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and comb the lace into the adhesive spray like so. And then I'm going to tie that down with an elastic band for about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, while we tie this down, I am going to go ahead and part out my hair and get ready to style and get ready to figure out how we're going to do this. Um, I am going to do like a 90s half up half down kind of look with a swoop. This was a challenge with this being a closure, but y'all know I'm up for a challenge. So I made it do what it do. Now y'all see me do part out my little U part and then I section that off and then I'm going in and sectioning off my top part portion, which will be my half up ponytail. And, um, once I get that parted out, you want to slick everything down with a wax stick and a hot comb. Just remember, you know, you want this looking as realistic as possible. You want it to give scalp. You don't want it to look like a wig. So, um, once you part out everything, like I said, well, as you guys see me doing, I'm going to part out everything. And then I'm going to go in with my wax stick and my hot comb to flatten everything out. Um, make sure you leave enough hair out too. Also on the sides to where it doesn't look like any tracks are showing. Like I said, if you had a frontal, um, this wouldn't be no problem, but I'm trying to do this look with a closure. So yeah, I just made it do what it do, but y'all see what I'm, y'all see what I'm trying to do. You see how I'm coming. Once you get everything parted out and you like the position of your ponytail and all that stuff, um, go ahead and slick that down and I'm just using my nutrients wax stick and I'm just going around the whole top where I parted out and I'm going to go in with my hot comb next and press everything out get it all nice and flat and then once that's done um i'm going to get ready to mold my ponytail up curl that and get ready that we'll finish styling and then that will be the completed look Next, I'm going to go in with my Fantasia heat protectant spray, and you can get this at your local beauty supply store. And then I'm also going to go in with my Baby List Pro Nan Nano Titanium Straightener, and I also got this from my local beauty supply store. So, but you can either get that from um, your local beauty supply store or like a Sally's Beauty. I know every Sally's Beauty sells them, but um, I'm going in with my straightener and my comb. Uh, the comb that you guys see me using is like a silk pressing comb and I also got that from my um, local beauty supply. Just look around or look on Amazon. Um, 
I don't know the proper name for it, but that's just what I call it, a silk pressing comb, because that's what it does. It's It presses the hair out and makes it real silky, and um, you're not damaging like a regular rat tail comb like how I used to. So, um, yeah, I went on one side, and then I did the other, and then um, I couldn't straighten the back of my hair myself with this being a bob because I wanted everything to be perfect with the style I was going for so my husband is actually going to come in and help me he's such a sweetie pie <laughs> but as you guys can see um I'm gonna do both sides in the front the left and the right side and then um I'm gonna speed up the section where my husband does the back of my wig gets it all nice and flat and even and then we'll get into um applying my rollers molding my ponytail and finishing up the style Okay, I, I did speed this part up, but I just wanted to show you guys because I didn't want you thinking that I, you know, I wasn't straightening my whole wig, but I am. So as you guys can see, I got him starting at the top and then working his way up to the bottom, working his way down to the bottom, straightening the hair, using the silk pressing comb as well, just to make sure everything's nice and flat. And then I just comb out any excess. Once that's done, um, you want to go in and cut off your lace and I just do a little split in the middle and then go in with my eyebrow razor to cut off the rest. Um, this lace was definitely given HD lace, honey. I didn't have to put no makeup on this lace or anything until like the very end when I got through styling with everything. But as far as like me cutting the lace off, off rip and just like it not being ashy or anything like that, it was very, it was given what it was supposed to give. So kudos to y'all wig encounters. Y'all did the damn thing. But once you cut that excess lace off, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my little baby hair that I'm going to do. It's going to be like something small. It's not going to be big at all because this is a 5x5 five five closure. So I just make it work with what I want to do. But once I pull out um, my little baby hair section on the side that I'm going to have, I'm going to mold down my bang, pin that up, pin up and mold my ponytail. And then we'll finish these curls and that will be the completed look. To pin my hair up, I'm just going to take a bobby pin. Um, it doesn't really matter the size. It's like a small or slash medium size bobby pin. But um, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to pin my bang um, kind of like in the back of my wig just so I don't have to deal with it. And then um, I'm going to pull the rest of my hair down, make sure everything's nice and flat. And then once that's done, oh, excuse me, y'all. Once that's, oh, y'all. Once that's done, um... You want to lay everything back down, make sure everything's nice and flat, looking good. And then I'm going to go in with my got to be glued and I'm going to spray a little bit on my um, swoop right here. And I'm just going to use this to mold my swoop down, make it make sure it stays in place. And I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and comb everything into place while I'm doing that. Next, I'm going to go in um, with my, um, what's the name? Y'all, I'm tripping another bobby pin and i'm just going to clean up my actual swoop i'm going to move it because i don't want the bobby pin being visual right here so i'm actually going to tuck it up under the hair but i just wanted my swoop to be more swoopy ish or i don't know how to say this but i just wanted my swoop to swoop more so um i pinned it up just a little bit more curving so it looks like it's going like a full swoop and not just going straight down and then i just comb the excess hair down like so and then once I like the placing of that and I comb everything back into place and I like the way it's looking, I'm going to go ahead and pin up, well, hot comb my ponytail to make sure everything's nice and flat, looking neat. And then we are going to tie that down with a small hair tie or rubber band, whichever one you prefer. Um, don't do it too, too tight because your lace will start to buckle. Um, especially with this being a closure. So just pull tight enough to make the ponytail tight, not tight enough to buckle the lace or pull the wig or anything and bunch it up in the middle. Once that's done, um, I'm gonna go in with my um, curling iron, 
I can't remember what brand this is. I think it's like a Revlon um, curling iron, and I believe it's one inch or an inch and a half. It's a pretty thick barrel. But as you guys can see, um, I sped this up for the sake of the video. But I'm doing little um, curls, curling inwards or towards my face. And then once I release that, I'm going to just pin those up with a black bobby pin. Kind of like so. I try to get this in frame so you guys can see. But as you guys can see, it's like I'm pinning the curl up. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. I do this like two or three times. And then I leave out two little strands to curl. Y'all, this, this look was so cute. It was giving what it was supposed to give. But yeah. I'm trying my best to explain this. Um, you see me curling the hair towards my face. I leave it on there on the curl nine for about five, not even five, one or two minutes. Once I feel it's hot enough, I roll my curl all the way back up to the base of the ponytail. And then I go in with a bobby pin and pin my roll that I just rolled all the way up to the base of my ponytail up and then i'm going to repeat that section until we'll just repeat that process until i get all the way around i kind of want like a little bun but i also leave out little strands of hair that i'm going to curl and you guys will see that in just a second um and i'm also going to curl and leave those out and then once that's done we are going to get ready to bump the ends of the hair and seal those with a cool roller and then that will be the completed look I'm gonna take my Kaposi mini straightener y'all already know you can get this off of Amazon um, and I'm just gonna curl my baby hair my little baby hair upwards I'm gonna go in with my Nairobi setting foam and a little bit of got to be glue gel and of course my eyebrow spoolie and I'm just gonna lay this like so um, since I didn't have that much space to work with I just made it do what it do um, you ain't really got to do too much like I said with this being a closure you don't have that much room to work with anyway so make do with what you have um once i like somewhat of the placement of my baby hair i put a little bit of got to be glue gel on top just so when i go back in to re-swoop it everything is going to be laid how i want to and then once that's done we are going to get into the curling and then that will really finish up this video and yeah Last but not least, I'm going to go in with, on my lace with a little bit of foundation powder in a shade that's a little bit lighter than me. Um, you don't really have to do this. This is just optional. I just decided to do this because I was being extra. But um, I'm just popping a little bit of color back into my lace because I want it to give scalp like so. And once that's done, we're going to go in. I'm going to take my same Baby List Pro Titanium Straightener and I'm going to curl that up. And you guys can see and then I'm going to take my what is that magnetic mag magnetic magnetic um, curling rod or cool rod and I'm just going to pin this up to keep my curls in place and then I just do this till I get all the way to the other side and then um, I'm gonna comb those out and we'll come back with the finished look
know y'all were wondering what about the back what about the back of the hair so i didn't leave that out sis don't worry i didn't i didn't forget about y'all so i repeat the same process that i do on the two sides in the back and i'm only gonna do and i'm only gonna do two sections i just put that in half and use those two sections that i did but i curl everything upwards like i did the first two um by it as you guys can see and i'm gonna pin another um pin on there because i just wanted to hold a little bit better be more sturdy and then once i get that pinned up i'm gonna repeat the same thing with that last little section right there i'm just gonna comb that excess out make sure everything's nice and neat curl that upwards like so with my baby list pro titanium straightener and then um i'm going to wrap the ends of the hair with my cool magnet barrel roller or whatever you want to call it and let that sit and then that will be it okay ladies this is the finished look my camera had died or got hot in the process of me taking my curlers out but this is what we're looking like getting to it getting to it y'all this style was so cute and different for me i've never done nothing like this so you know i'm trying new stuff for the new year um this is what the back looks like hold on y'all let me comb everything out just make sure everything's looking how it's supposed to be Okay, this is the back, y'all. So, you see the little flips? It held up pretty well, I would say. I love it. And again, you guys, this is Wig Encounters. This is their HD 5x5 Lace Closure Wig. And it is come in the texture Yaki Straight. And it is 12 inches and 150 density. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what y'all think. I love it so much. Mm -hmm. It's giving 90s-esque video girl. Video girl in the 90s. I love it. It's cute. So cute. Mm -hmm. But... Again, you guys, my name is my my name is Hypnotic Lady. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you guys get a notification for when I drop my next video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.